Electrical Machines Part 2 E1 Introduction to Synchronous AC Generators This is the fifth part of Topic 2 in Series of Electrical Machines. We had an introduction of AC machines in the previous part, and in this video, we are going to discuss about AC synchronous generators. They're working in different methods of excitation. Hello everyone, Abdurrahman here from Alumiax Engineering. To learn more and to continue sharpening your technical skills, visit our website at alumiax.com learn. Most of the generators used in electrical generating stations are of synchronous type. Synchronous generators are those in which both magnetic field of stator and rotor rotate at the same speed that is synchronous speed, hence the reason they are termed as synchronous generators. Let's discuss the working of a synchronous generator. In three-phase synchronous generators, DC power is supplied to rotor windings, that is field windings, to produce magnetic field inside the rotor. Prime mover is connected to rotor to rotate it, hence inducing a rotating magnetic field in the rotor. Now, due to the effect of rotating magnetic field in the rotor, three-phase AC voltages are induced in stator windings, that is armature windings. As you're watching this video, we hope you find it useful and engaging. General Pat creates video tutorials so people like you can learn about power systems easily and efficiently. So become our patron, get exclusive perks, and we can't wait to see you on the other side. Each phase voltage is 120 degree apart from every other phase voltage because of the reason that three phase stator windings are placed 120 degree apart from each other. Then this AC output from stator is supplied to loads. So the question which arise here is that how to excite that is supply DC power to rotor windings. There are two possible ways to do. So the first method is to supply DC power by means of an external DC source using slip rings and carbon brushes. Slip rings are made of metal surrounding the shaft of generator and are insulated. They are connected to each phase winding of rotor. When shaft rotates, slip rings also rotate. Stationary carbon brushes are made from graphite which are connected to the terminals of DC source and they ride on slip rings to supply continuous DC power to the rotor windings. Although method of slip rings and carbon brushes requires frequent maintenance, but still it is cheaper than other ways of excitation. Another way to excite the rotor windings is to use brushless DC exciters. A brushless DC exciter is actually an additional AC generator with field windings on stator and armature windings on rotor, which is added to the main synchronous generator that is to be excited. We can observe here that in exciter, armature and stator windings switch their positions when compared to main synchronous generator. As we can see in the figure, an external three-phase AC supply is fed to the stator of DC exciter, which is rectified to DC supply, they're using internal electronics. Due to magnetic field generated in field windings on stator, voltage is induced in the armature windings on rotor of DC exciter. Then AC output from exciter is subsequently rectified to DC and then supplied to the rotor field windings of main synchronous generator, which in turn induces three phase AC voltage in stator windings of main synchronous generator. Moreover, in order to make excitation circuit of synchronous generator completely independent of any external source, a pilot exciter is used. Pilot exciter is also another AC generator with permanent magnet mounted on rotor shaft. This magnet generates magnetic field in the rotor's field windings of pilot exciter, as a result of which three-phase AC voltage is induced in the stator armature windings of pilot exciter. AC output from pilot exciter is then rectified to DC power using three-phase rectifier and supplied to stator field windings of exciter generator. Here onwards, the working is same as in the circuit of brushless exciter which was discussed just before. In actual practice, however, Power plants use synchronous generators whose excitation is done using brushless exciters, and they also include backup excitation circuit consisting of slip rings and carbon brushes so that in case of emergency an alternative is available. That's all about synchronous generators. In the next part, we will be discussing induction generators. We hope that you have a continued interest in this topic and in this series as either a student or a professional. And we also hope that you find this content useful and enlightening.
please consider subscribing to our channel and support us by becoming a patron on patreon.com slash generalpack.